the NBA. Was with a Kardashian, ended up on crack. And now, let's go to the courtroom. In this corner, the prosecution. Looking like the father and son from the original house party. Give it up for Ryan Davis in Austin Hall. And in this corner, the defense. Looking like the 2023 Ike and Anna Mae. Say hello to Cynthia Luciac in Sydney Castillo. Come to order. Cancel court is now in session with Judge Tony Town. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin this case, I would like to give a special shout out to all of our Armenian brothers and sisters that are in the courtroom today. One of their own is on trial. They're here to support and hear the case, and they will judge it fairly. So thank you all for being here. So we are here today to determine if we should continue keeping up with the Kardashians or cancel the entire family immediately. The family has stayed on our airways for over a decade plus now, and it's caused many to question what value does this family add to our society. Some say all they've done is add to black trauma while others say these are the modern-day women. We have Mr. Ryan Davis and his co-counsel, Mr. Austin Hall, representing the prosecution. Uh, Mr. Hall, one of our newcomers, welcome to Council Court. So I hear that you and Mr. Davis have a podcast called With All Due Offense. Is that correct? With All Due Offense podcast. You can catch that at 301 Studios on Patreon. Thank you. Appreciate you. That doesn't win any cool points for me, sir. <laughs> Next, we have... I should have been thick. <laughs> <laughs> You have on the threads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, have Miss <laughs> Cynthia Lucia, a.k.a. Sin, okay. and her co-counsel, Mr. Sidney Castillo, represented the defense. Miss Lucia, I see you have your funny bags covered up today. Oh, wait, no. They're open. Judge. Well, last time you were here, they caused a bit of a stir on the Jada Pickett trial. <laughs> oh. What's the back? Hello. I absolutely agree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was the inspiration for your outfit today? Um, the Kardashians, my uh, clients, okay. Your Honor. They're not going to be talking about your titties all the time. <laughs> no, we're not. The fans will. Okay. Thank you for being here today for the both of you. Each attorney will be given two objections. You will have a chance at rebuttal, so take notes and prepare to respond. We will end with two minutes of closing arguments. Once all evidence is completed, the jury of peers without bias will decide the fate of the entire Kardashian family with a clear and decisive judgment. Are we clear? Are we clear? Yes, sir. Thank you. We will begin with the prosecution. Mr. Hall, please begin with your opening statement. Thank you. Excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I want to paint you a picture. And in this painting, we have the consistent and disrespectful theft of black culture, only rivaled by white America. Are they Armenian? I don't know. They steal like regular old white people to me. Also in this painting, more black men destroyed than the Reagan era in the war on drugs. What are we doing here? Hmm? No moral compass. What are we, porno peddlers? Sex traffickers? All of this in this one little painting of about six or seven holes and one out of shape motherfucker. <laughs> That's all this is. Is it a war? Is it a genocide? No, it's a regular Tuesday night at the Kardashian household. Now, me and my co-counsel, we like to dwindle, dwindle in facts. Right down the window? The window. The window and the window. We have something very important to do today. We have got to get these bitches off air. <laughs> <laughs> They're killing me. That's my opening statement. Thank you, Mr. Hall, for that interesting, interesting opening statement. Thank you. At this time, Ms. Lucia, please begin with your opening statement. You look good, mama. Thank you. <clears throat> What's up, Mr. Judge? Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. It's good to see you Hi, y'all. Nice to see you, Ryan. Today, members of the jury, I'm here to tell a story about a family that started from a sex ape now they're here. Mm. <laughs> 
See, I want y'all to be fair. That's all I'm asking. Just be open-minded to the unpopular opinion about the story of the Kardashian family. I mean, let's be honest, right? To make millions of dollars off of any product is the American dream. Mm. I don't care if that product is being a bad bitch. What's wrong with that? <laughs> People like to say they don't have talent. People like to come at their work ethic. And I feel like Kim K didn't just get ass shots and sit on her world famous ass. She put the whole gang on, the whole family. And when rappers do that with their entourage, when they like, oh, my cousin, he can cook a little bit, you a chef now. We applaud them. We like, dang, that's loyalty, that's some real shit. So y'all mad because they sticking with Chloe because she was messing with a basketball player, had a storyline for a few more seasons? No, that's, that's what they got to work, work with what they got. They kept us entertained for 10 years. And that's not an easy thing to do. The Kardashians are lighthearted entertainment. They're good for the ecosystem of media. That's it, point blank period, right? You ever been scrolling, see a whole bunch of sad ass news, scrolling, scrolling, bad news, bad. Oh shit, Kim Kardashian had a hair blonde. Hmm. <laughs> Light-hearted entertainment. It's good for the ecosystem of media. You know, when you plant a garden, you need a variety of things to keep the balance so it can all grow. That's the ecosystem, people. We can't have all Beyonce trees in our garden. We gotta have some Kylie flowers. Mm. <laughs> we gotta have some Reggie bushes. Talk, talk. Okay? Talk. And then he wants to talk about the theft of the black aesthetic and it being mainstream and being used and being popularized. Y'all wanna cancel the player instead of canceling the game. Where do they do that? You don't have to like them. I'm not asking you to. I'm simply asking you to respect their hustle, okay? I feel like these rich bad bitches ain't did nothing but live their life, and they're victims of their own success. The narrative that goes around about them is really coming from trolls. We've been taught to be mad to see people live their life. So my thing is, I feel like these claims are baseless. I feel like all their points are sheep-minded opinions. And I really just feel like this case has grounds for dismissal. Dismissal. Dismissal, she, write that down. Yeah, dismissal. write that down. Good call, call back. Dismissal of the brand new. This is country accent. My bottom line is, only ugly people don't like the Kardashians. Okay. Thank you. More of Cynthia arguing with ugly niggas when cancel for it returns. We will proceed with evidence being presented by the prosecution. Please proceed with the first piece of evidence. Oh, man. Oh, we're going to slide it off. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, let's go this around. Right? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I was going to walk, I was gonna walk <laughs> behind you, but let's okay. go. All right. <laughs> I see you new to this. It's fine. All right. Uh, as a proud member of the Uglies, <laughs> I don't like these bitches. I don't like them for other reasons, though. Moral reasons. I'm American. I'm from the South. I have. I'm from the Bible Belt. Morality is a thing with us, man. I'm a parent. You know, I don't know if there are other parents in here, but one of our biggest nightmares is to possibly go through your child's phone and see, like, some nudity or some sex or some nakedness. It's our worst nightmare. Chris saw her daughter's sex tape as an opportunity. In fact, it was noted by Ray J that she saw the first sex tape and was like, y'all got to do this over. I don't like the angles. <laughs> And she sold a sex tape from her daughter to Vivid and got executive producer credit. <laughs> and this is the mother figure you call lighthearted entertainment. You, you got to be kidding me. And, and I'd like to stop and say thank you to my Armenian brothers and sisters that's in here today. I need you to remember that the only Armenian in the family is Rob Sr. and he's dead. All right. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen them participate in any Armenian customs? No, they're just using an Armenian name for clout, just like they use niggas. We don't know what they are. They're a parasite. That's what they do. They latch onto something and they suck it dry. <laughs> On tape even. <laughs> and then 
<laughs> they don't take marriages serious at all. Rest in peace to both of Chris Jenner's husbands, Rob and Bruce. <laughs> Never to be seen again. <laughs> Are we promoting fatherless homes? Is that the innocent image that we're spreading across the world millions of people follow? There's no wonder that each one of these women can't keep a man either. They're only doing what they see. Dysfunction. And then the mother decides she don't even want to be a leader no more. She wants to follow her daughters. She ain't dated a black man ever. And then all of a sudden, she found a nigga that we didn't even know existed. <laughs> <laughs> and has been showing this nigga off everywhere. Do anybody know what Corey does? No. Everything that they represent, starting from the top, is toxic. It's all negative. There's no way you're going to tell me that we are going to uphold these negative views because they bad bitches. Which is a stretch because we've seen Chloe before the surgery. Thank you. <laughs> this looks like Bigfoot. But this is not... I mean that in the nicest way. And let's be honest, nobody believes Chloe is a Kardashian. Nobody. Puerto Rican at best. <laughs> There's no way that five foot two Chris and five foot three Rob made a six foot eight power forward. <laughs> we know we know it's OJ's kid, but we just try. <laughs> That's hearsay. That's hearsay, Mr. It Davis. is hearsay. Strike that and from I'm the record. And I'm here to say it is a fact. <laughs> Listen, we've seen all they can do. Do y'all want to see a season 11? What is season 11? They're going to make another baby with somebody and ruin their career? I just feel as though if we're going to call something entertainment, at least let's attach some type of skill set to it. And uh, being a bad example in ruining people's lives is not a skill set. It's actually a shame that we would even glorify that oh, just because they got some dope makeup. Uh, nothing further. Thank you, Mr. Davis. At this time, mm -hmm. Mr. Sidney, if you have some things you I want to rebuttal, go ahead. I just got a couple things I just Come like on to talk about. Rebuttal. Just with you have any rebuttals? Things, yeah. No problem. Because it just seems like a lot of judgment mm -hmm. coming from this side of the courtroom. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're calling them whores. We're calling them bitches. We're talking about sex tapes. They not married. I'm not good with numbers. How many kids Future got? Like honey. How many kids Nick got? 45. How many kids NBA Youngboy got? Shit, at least 20. And we can That's cancel them kids. Too. That's yeah. 100 kids between three niggas. Yep. But we want to blame the Kardashians? Right. Jesus. I wish my mama put a sex tape out and I made millions of dollars. Exactly. I don't think my homeboy's like, damn, Sydney got a million dollars for showing his dick. <laughs> <laughs> they would support me and my family. It's just a lot of judgment. You like rap music? It's a little toxic, but we pour it in our system. So what for 22 minutes, I can't watch Lil' Kim. And pussy ain't never stop a man's career from going back. Them niggas were sorry. They got some pussy and became sorrier. I got pussy as a comedian. I'm still funny. <laughs> Correction, different level of pussy. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. I do have a question for Mr. Castillo. Yes, Mr. Davis. Because those are some riveting points. Thank you, sir. I apologize. Look at my notes. Yeah, I, I would just ask, though, why you ran through several comparisons, and none of them comparisons look like the Kardashians. They all look like the culture that they emulate. I don't, I'm confused. What is the culture that they emulate? You're very confused. If, if making babies, you say making babies, no, no, no. dating no, no, rappers, no. What, what is it? No, 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 no. Uh, through your whole thing, did a bunch of comparisons throughout your entire time, and every single comparison made was that of a black person. Why is it that you don't compare them to a non-black person? Oh, I don't see them as stealing the culture. I see them just as entertainment. I feel like the Armenians who are just funny. They fine. You know what I mean? And black men like them. They want to fuck them, so they fuck them back. And then they have some kids by them, and they have it on tape. And they're making billions of dollars from it. I don't see the issue. I got some quotes on this one. Let me take this one. You want to tag team? No, no, yeah. no. I asked Sydney. I don't care. Cool. 
<laughs> Go ahead, sweet. I appreciate it. <clears throat> So let's talk of this, you know, because I think cancel appropriation obviously has to be addressed, right? It's the big appropriated elephant in the room. We kind of pick and choose when it's appropriate to appropriate. Are we screaming culture appropriation when all the rappers are doing mob ties, mafia, yo Gotti, Geechee Gotti, Irv Gotti? Ain't got a drop of Italian in them. <laughs> mm. Mm. Are we screaming culture appropriation then? Objection. We no, don't I don't know. Hear. Oh, we what? Don't, no, we don't, we don't know. We, what their there's no 23 and me's. We don't know their 23 and me's. Sustained. This is continued. Subjective. <laughs> Are we screaming culture appropriation when you go into the strip club and it's a fine, beautiful black woman named Asian Doll? Mm. No? Are you screaming culture appropriation when you call out of work on Cinco de Mayo? Mm. I think we need to be a little more patient. And like I said, canceling the player and canceling the game is two different things. This game that has been around since the beginning of America, and we're just canceling the players and not the people who are responsible for putting them on vote, not the people who are responsible for giving them babies and endorsing them, these black men endorsed the Kardashians. Who the fuck are you to take away Kanye West's endorsement? To take away Lamar Odom's endorsement? They know the celebrity dating game, know what is going on, and that's how I feel about that. Hey. <laughs> oh shit. Mr. Davis might be in trouble. Cancel report. We'll be right back. with your granny on Facebook. Share it with the woke mob on Twitter. Share it with your Instagram crush. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate all your support. that the Kardashians are being used by black men for their fame and notoriety, because if I recall, Kanye West vehemently said he wanted Kim K. A lot of black men want to leech on and attach. Nobody knew who Tristan Thompson was before he got with the Kardashian. So could it be said that their fame is being chased by black men that are using them? Please answer the question. Did we say this? Did we say this? That this is what the whole thing we was about? We said that. that. We said all the black men that these women <laughs> destroyed, they came by their own free will. Let me address the bullshit. <laughs> These men are using them. <laughs> That's what some say. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, let's go down the line then. Kim Kardashian was with who, like Nick Cannon? Did y'all know who she was then? Fuck no. Before the Ray J sex tape, did you have any clue who the fuck she was? So nobody knew her into the sex tape. Then after that, she was always known by who she was dating. Yeah. She dated multiple people until her clout got high enough to where it rivaled the people she was dating. <clears throat> it never started off even, ever. Chloe couldn't get near a Tristan Thompson or a fucking James Harden. She was dating Rashad McCants. <laughs> she never dated any NBA player before the family got put on after sucking. So who would you like the, for them to date? Who would I like for them to date? Yeah. I don't care who they date. Uh, it's not, I'm making uh, a point. Sound like you do. No, no, no. A question was asked, was asked. Was about different. men using them. Uh -huh. And my rebuttal is, these men are not using them. Nobody knew who Heisman Trophy <laughs> Reggie Bush was. National champion winning Reggie Bush was before he dated Kim. Are you serious? He got a Super Bowl ring after dating Kim Kardashian. Yeah, and he never played again. <laughs> he was in, he, because that's what the fuck they, they do. do. Lamar Odom, NBA champion, beat the odds, left the hood, made it to the NBA, was with a Kardashian, ended up on crack. <laughs> Nah, Lamar was doing crack way no. before Chloe. No, 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 he was no. not. He, he tried crack. No, order, no. order. You don't try crack. <laughs> <laughs> you don't try crack. 
that is a decision you make. That he tried Bro, before Chloe. It, nobody is giving out crack samples. I've never <laughs> heard of this in my life. There's only one way to get it. You got to go to the bowels of society. <laughs> this nigga was six foot eleven, rich, in the hood, looking for crack after being with Chloe. Are y'all serious? Y'all remember what Scott Disick looked like before <laughs> Courtney? So you watched the show. When he got with Courtney, this nigga was swaggy. He was suited and booted every time you see him. This nigga looks like he's going through it every time you see this nigga now. <laughs> this nigga beard is scruffy. He's always drunk, stumbling over everything. Because if this is what using them for success look like, it's almost like using crack. <laughs> they have the same effect. Once you start using the Kardashians, you end up on the street dying. <laughs> Found in a brothel. On life support. You're blaming a lot on them. They're parasites. You come in contact with them, they, they suck out all your talent. <laughs> like the Monstars. Except they don't even keep the talent. They just suck the talent out of you, leaving you broken. And we're supposed to accept this. Why? Because they're bad bitches. Mr. Davis, I have a question for you before you sit down. Yes. When you think about the Kardashians, they've actually done a lot that impacted the black community. Not a lot of people will use their platform of almost a billion followers to get people of color, black men and women, out of jail. And they're using their platforms for good. And there's a lot of black people that we look up to that don't say anything. What would you like to say to them? I like to say that you just proved our point for us. He said that they use their platform to get black men and women out of prison. That's the Kardashians doing. They use their platform. Not mentioning one time that in every single one of those cases, their attorney was a black woman. Mm. Taking the credit from the actual people who got them out of prison just getting surgeries to look like those women and posting it on social media. Justice for Rick Rick, whatever. <laughs> Prosecution rests. Oh yeah, shit just got real. Cancel Court will be right back. What are your thoughts on Cancel Court? My overall thoughts of the show, Cancel Court, is basically the greatest thing on social media right now. When I first heard about the idea, um, I thought it was genius, especially if it was going to be executed the way that it has been executed. I think the thing that separates Cancel Court from all the other shows is the brutal honesty. We have lawyers fighting for these cases with real facts and things present. I mean, it's just, man, it's a very, very good concept. I did Essence Festival this year. They were playing Cancel Court at Essence Festival. One thing about Defiant Digital that I've always respected is they started with the truth. I think what makes Defiant Digital different than any other platform is the quality. Defiant Digital reminds me of somebody who had an idea and couldn't wait to execute their idea their way as opposed to doing what everybody else is doing. People are being canceled all the time. This show could have been canceled. Comedians can't say, they don't have a voice, they can't say whatever they want to. Defiant Digital said, well, we'll let you. Just the balls to do that separates them from everybody. I would like to ask this question to the prosecution. In the black community, we have black fathers who love sports, who become these parents that are so driven for their kid to be successful, so they're pushing them to play football. They're pushing them to play basketball. Maybe these kids are artists. Maybe they want to be violinists. Maybe they want to be presidents. Could you speak to the fact that you talk about Kris Jenner being this mom to force her daughter to do this sex tape, but in essence, black fathers have been doing this to their black sons since the beginning of time when it comes to sports. Could you guys speak to that double standard narrative? I, I'm sorry. I always have to stand up because I just don't like uh, sitting down while making my points. Um, I think this is an unfair comparison. Why is that? I think a guy, a man, a black man who gives his son 
a basketball and say, son, I'm going to teach you how to ball handle. It's different than a woman holding a camera and saying, daughter, make sure you handle those balls. I think <laughs> two completely different scenarios should not be compared as if they are on the same level of innocence. I think one is remarkably different than the other. One of them you can go to jail for. But that's the thing. They always lean back to our culture to try to make what they do <laughs> acceptable. And we're supposed to overlook it. Somehow we're supposed to see them in ourselves. They ain't got shit to do with us in our culture. Every time you turn around, there's another black person being hurt by them. And then now we got this weird ass comparison that you're making. I'm, every parent should want their child to be successful. Every parent should want that for their child. And there are some people who live vicariously through their children. Maybe that's what Chris was doing. She had dreams of being a porn star. <laughs> she was like, I got married young, Kim. I never got a chance to fuck on camera. I gave that up for you. I object, Your Honor. But I don't now want that you visual have the in chance. my head. You have the chance to make multiple sex tapes, and we're going to take the best one, and it still be mediocre. <laughs> and show that to the entire world with Brandy's brother. <laughs> she couldn't even get a sex tape with an actual star at the time. <laughs> she piggybacked Dorian from Moesha <laughs> into fame. And we're supposed to respect this. Why are we here? Ask yourself that. End it now. Save the children. Or are we going to wait to see what kind of dreams Kim had that she gave up so she can instill it into these children? Okay. <laughs> Please. Okay. Go ahead. A lot of stretching. You have two minutes. A lot of stretching. I'm going to let my counterpart Listen, take it. Listen, y'all see my couple, body. I don't I stretch. I got a couple things. <laughs> oh. I, 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 I got a couple all things. Right? Order, order, we're order. All, we're all grown here, right? Mr. Sidney. Right? We're all grown. We've all had sex, right? Some of us have had sex on tape. You don't have to say who you are. My name is Sidney. Um, <laughs> but what we're doing is acting like the Kardashians invented sex tapes and calling that culture appropriation. There's many of people who got sex tapes, good or bad. Maybe they should have got the father or mother to produce it. It may have looked better. But now what we're doing is saying sex tapes are invented by the Kardashians. That's you giving them power. They never said they invented that. I never said that. Now you're saying they're having sex with a Kardashian and make you do crack. What if the nigga just wanted to do some crack? Right. What if he was just a crackhead? <laughs> I know crackheads. I got crackheads back home. I know. I speak to them. What's up? It ain't never over a girl. They just really like crack. Nobody <laughs> decides to do crack at 35. Okay. Well, here's my mm. thing. You know, because he, he, he got a couple turds up here to talk. <clears throat> so let's just say, yeah. Chris Jenner manages a porn star. And? So what? Everybody watches porn. Half of y'all watch it on your way here. The other half gonna watch it as soon as you fucking get home. And you know how much porn is on the internet nowadays? And how many porn stars have zero fucking management? You ever been scrolling like, damn, that pussy got potential. If only she had the right manager. <laughs> hey, say what you want. I really like you. <laughs> but you know, and, and I do feel like when it comes, you know, we talk about these men who circulated through their life and, oh, did they fall off? Did they this? Did they that? Everybody has been through that experience, especially bad women. You know what it's like? A man really, really wanted you, and then when he gets you, motherfuckers just fall off, stop getting lineups and shit. Oh, now you back to playing the game all fucking day long? But you wanted a bad bitch. <laughs> now that you got her, it's tragic. Mm. Bars. Bars. It's easy sometimes to get a bad bitch. It's hard to keep them because you have to actually keep up with their work schedule. You have to actually keep up with their desire to keep climbing to the top. There's nothing wrong with that. How's she supposed to stay with somebody who's doing crack? <laughs> I play, she's the reason why most people know who Tristan Thompson is and no one should know 
who Tristan Thompson <laughs> is. Tristan Thompson was a very good basketball player in high school. He, he played was, in the yeah, no, out of Texas. Listen, listen, it's I more popular. I, I met Tristan, you know, through Chloe. But then that go. goes back to, oh, they're not getting used. No good comes from that. But if more people know you, you have more popularity. And they shouldn't you know this nigga. It. You should not you know somebody averaging five points and five rebounds. Kardashian. You should not know order, this nigga. Order, order. Miss uh, Cynthia, you have 10 seconds. Okay. Please make your final point, and okay. we're going to go to closing. When it comes to the sex tape, Ray J's a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> point blank, fucking period. They signed a legal document. This was not a lie. He's going on there like, oh, they just said that. No, it was a strategic marketing plan that two parties agreed on. Who broke that agreement? Not my clients. Oh. <laughs> the conclusion of the trial of the Kardashians when Cancer Corp returns. Closing arguments. Both sides have two minutes. Mr. Austin, please begin. A little thirsty? Yeah, just a little bit. Call me a Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing bad bitch. Bad bitch, bad bitch, bad bitch. Wanna be a bad bitch. She's a bad bitch. They need a bad bitch. Whatever happened to just a real bitch? What on these women belongs to them? Seriously, Kylie selling lipstick? <laughs> Why would she get lip injections? Because you can't sell lipstick if you don't have fucking lips. Mm. Problem solution. <laughs> this is the moral decay of society right now. The defense is trying to protect this. But I'm looking at an ethnically ambiguous cancer right in front of me. Me too. No. <laughs> Talk that shit. I'm a, Talk that shit. Well, I'm a Gemini, Talk but I don't know where you was going. You know what I mean? I have no hey, idea. Hey, cancer is harsh. Okay, well, these bitches are at least chlamydia. Listen. <laughs> Listen. You know, come on, man. Who in here amongst us wouldn't want to cancel cancer? Chlamydia. Whatever you want to call them. They're a deterioration of our moral values, any way the defense want to, like I said, they want to do this, I want a bad bit, all of this shit. No talent, they're users, they're thieves, taking credit, black women releasing black men. Mm. Where the black credit? No black credit? We have an important task in front of us here today, all right? I'm not telling you it's right, I'm not telling you it's wrong, shit, I ain't even telling you it's fair. I'm telling you, we got to do this shit. They killing me. And I know they killing you. Nobody wants to see these women steal, destroy every other bad fucking bad. Listen, let's cancel these bitches once and for all. Thank you, Yana. I'm done. Thank you, Mr. Austin Hall, for your closing statements. At this time, defense, you have two minutes. Either one of you want to close. You have two minutes. <clears throat> Kill him, mm. Cynthia, kill him. I really want y'all to just take away from this the fact that this family has stuck together. They made a lot of money together. And they got a lot of people fucking hating on them for no reason. Just sounding mad because y'all sex tape ain't selling. <laughs> y'all named it and everything. Thought it was going to kill. Ryan, live in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> thing is you really can't blame where they started from you can only admire it you know how many other women fuck ray j and got nothing out of it mm. but a story to tell and some gonorrhea to cure would you rather have that been your daughter because see when kim made that sex tape she was 23 years old but four years before that she was 19 and she eloped to vegas and got married and as a mom you know how heartbreaking that is to feel like your daughter can't come to you with something she wants to do because she feel like you might not support her. So you tell a baby, tell me anything. They openly communicated. They built an empire together. They have billions of followers. 
People who love being entertained by them and them making their day happy. If you're not the demo, you're not the demo. That's completely fine. But I just feel like when it comes to the Kardashians, we got to remember, only broke people don't like them. That's a fact. I got money. Kardashian money? Hey, well. I got robbed money. Stutter like Lamar buying some crap. I got robbed money. Look, I got robbed money. I feel like at the end of the day, they do have kids. Their kids are going to benefit off of this empire. And it's just lessons that we can all learn. How to make it. When you're a celebrity brand, you got to protect it. You don't get to see all the behind the scenes. You think McDonald's is letting us in on the pitch meeting when they like, yeah, we got them dancing with some McRibs. <laughs> <laughs> it's protecting your brand. When you're a public image, you do what you can to get ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Sand, for your closing arguments. At this time, a decision must be rendered. It's not up to me. It's not up to the beautiful bailiff, Miss Ebony. Again, thank you for being here on this wonderful day. It's up to the jury. At this time, all those in favor of canceling the entire Kardashian family, please raise your right hand and say aye. I would have to say All those in favor of not canceling the Kardashian family, please raise your right hand and say nay. 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 Put your hands down. A decision has been rendered. It is by here, the judge of counter court, that the Kardashian family is not canceled. Let's that is the order. Thank you, everybody. That decision is final. That is so ordered. <laughs> Good to see you. If it was just me, I would watch. <laughs> At this time, a decision has been rendered in this courtroom. Now it's up to you, the fans, to make the final decision. It's your choice to decide whether to uphold the vote or to overturn it. You can vote right now. Y'all have a chance to <laughs> turn over this ruling. Cancel. I'm going to be honest with you. My grandmama and granddaddy dead right now. And you know what bring them back? Your votes. They come back like Jesus on the third day. What y'all doing here? They voted us back. You could do that. Look, cancel them. Forget the appeal. Just overturn it and we ain't got to deal with them no more. I mean, what else can you say besides winners? I know. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Sin, man. Yeah, no. She was ready. We stated facts. We beat them. Pretty bad, I say at that. She defended them so well. I almost cared. Ryan, you know, was decently prepared. You feel me? His blazer, you know what I mean, fit. I mean, but Cynthia was just ready. You feel me? She was ready. I was ready. I was passionate. You know, I was ready to get canceled my damn self before I let y'all cancel the Kardashians. She looked like a pretty pink velvet uterus. And I was just saying, this caught me <laughs> off guard. Like, I was like, yeah, yeah. damn. I ain't like all them jazz about her breasts either. It's my little sister. <laughs> I'm moving. Yeah, I it's Armenia. A lot of judgment. It's a courtroom. Well, I can really be around some Armenians. <laughs> they ain't even Armenian for real. This is some bullshit. Yeah. Entertainment. Awesome. The defendant did an awesome job. I have to agree. <laughs>